team is a non-profit society of paramedics, physicians and now nurses that's dedicated to getting pre-hospital care at the advanced care or critical care level to remote places that don't currently get it. Normally we fly them off the mountain to just to the Whistler Clinic, but that's not a surgical site, so there are patients that definitely need surgical care. And when we're off, even in more remote environments, getting to the appropriate center can save hours and hours of time. Ultrasound would help us determine the appropriate transport destination. It would cut down the, the amount of resources required to get the appropriate care to the patient. Instead of taking a patient to a local hospital and then having them determine that the patient needs to go to a trauma receiving hospital, instead that patient can go direct to the trauma centre and get the appropriate care immediately. We came across the BC4 Safety Ombudsman report and it detailed an accident uh, on a logging site where uh, a logger broke his leg. So it was 12 hours from the time he got injured to the time he actually saw definitive medical care. And unfortunately in, in that time he lost his leg. Early diagnosis, triage assessment, all these sorts of things are far easier with these tools. Point of care ultrasound helps us in determining if the patient has, for example, a pneumothorax, uh, internal hemorrhage, It'll also help us in cardiac arrest management, looking for myocardial activity. It allows you to do more in worse places or in more fun places, depending on how you consider it, right? Up on the mountains, snowstorms, wind, rain. For all the purposes I've had, it's, it's been robust. It's been weatherproof. It's durable, it's portable, and it's really user-friendly. It, it'll connect to iOS or Android, uh, so it works really well with all of our devices. My plan has always been that we want to be a resource for the community, so anyone in a remote setting, if they need help, um, that we would like to be there for them. I think I wrote like med school when I graduated. Graduated med school, gonna go be an anesthesiologist. Now, if only I can take the operating room outdoors. Potentials are still limitless, I think.